Welcome to another segment with Dave and myself. We are going to show you how to make an egg protein. You know, you, go, you guys go to the store and you want to be big and strong and you're going to be all muscles and blah, blah, blah. Well, great. Now, this is a survival food. I'm showing you how to make survival food. Take some eggs. Boil them up. Okay, boil them up. Hard boiled. Okay, what you do is you take the hard boiled egg. This is a hard boiled egg. right? Take it. Split it. Once you boil them up, Pop them open, get the yolk out. We're going to keep that yolk. Don't throw that away. That's yours. This is your lecithin. As you can see, it looks like a brain. Doesn't that look like a brain? Brain connection. That's what that does. It feeds the brain. Do not throw that away. Anybody tells you don't use the yolk, you tell them to take a short walk off a, or a long walk off a short dock. That's how dumb that is, okay? You use that. Now, what we're doing, what's the other one? Oh, yeah, here. What we're doing basically, the reason why we're separating the two. You don't have to. But the reason why you're separating two is because there's fat in that, lecithin. And when you dry it up, the lecithin can go rancid on you. So what we want now is we want the protein. I want to dry this up as well. But what I'll do is first is I'll spray that with, uh, with rosemary, essential oil. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll dilute it with water, or I'll dilute it with a little alcohol or salt water and spray it on there to keep the fat from breaking down. Uh, rosemary and sage both have the equivalency of BHG and BHA as a fat preserver, so it doesn't allow the fat to break down. And then when you consume it, it keeps the fat in your arteries flowing. Some of you are going to say, well, what about cholesterol? Okay, what about cholesterol? Cholesterol has been overrated as a bad guy. It has nothing to do with your heart other than helping your heart and keeping your heart healthy. Okay, so what we're doing, basically I'm just cleaning out the... the um, the fat content. I mean, I get it all up, but that's okay. All right, so there we go. Da da da. Sometimes they cooperate, and sometimes they don't. You get them all. Okay. Then we're gonna mush them. Hmm. We're not going to mush them. There we go. You're going to break this down as much as you can. And the more you break it, see there? Get a nice mush out of there, eh? Now, I'm going to give you a little tidbit about protein. Egg protein is the highest BV rated protein to, to date. Okay, well, somebody has come along with another protein that's even more higher BV. Now, the BV rating basically means biological value. It means it's, it's a measurement of absorption that your body will take the protein up. The highest BV rating you can get is 100, unless you add a peptide or some other protein with it. Now, some of you will see these whey protein products that say they are 105 BV, or the highest whatever. And... That's because they've added peptides to it. Whey or milk has a BB rating of 92. The egg has a BB rating of 93. So in other words, out of 100, you absorb 93% of the protein here. Now, to increase the, the absorbability of egg, add gelatin to it. Gelatin. Doesn't matter which one you want to use, gelatin. Okay, when you add gelatin to an egg, your BV rating goes from 93 to 99. Okay, that means you're absorbing 99% of this. So you're going to dehydrate this. So what do you do? You put them in a pan like this, and you dehydrate it. So you get a. Um, it's, this is not completely dehydrated. I let it in set last night. I thought it would be done today, but once it's dehydrated completely, you then you would take it in the blender somewhere. <laughs> blender. <laughs> you put it in the blender and you would powder it down to you get this, a, pr a protein, okay? That's it. Now, you may want to add a little salt before, while you're drying this, you may want to add some salt. Again, you may want to add some, either the extract of, of rosemary or the extract or the essential oil of rosemary but by diluting it and spraying it, okay? Um, it takes something like, oh, do I have anything here? Let me see here. I'm really well prepared today. Ah, take something like this, yeah. yeah, this has got iodine. 
So you would spray it with the iodine. All right? I already did it before I started the show. So you spray it with the iodine. Now, why am I telling you to do things with iodine? <laughs> because our government, the great government of Canada, instead of declaring a state of emergency, decided to run and hide and have an election. And as I've stated in some of these other segments, do not vote for any of them. Put your name on the ballot and say you can do a better job than they can. That's, again, my opinion. But anyhow, you are exposed to levels of radiation that you don't know because our government has shut off the monitors. And in the United States, they have elevated the level of radiation that you can absorb. So nobody <laughs> cares about the citizenry. It's called democide, where governments kill their own people. Anyway, spray it, add a little salt to it. Salt is a preserver as well. Back in the old days, when they were drying fish, they would put salt on it. So they would add a little salt on whatever. They would set it out in the sun, and it would dry. You can sun dry this. You can toast or oven dry this. You can dehydrate this in a dehydrator, okay, any way you want. Till you get to this point, it'll be dry like this, and then powder it up. Once you powder it up, put it in the jar, label it. Get one of those air vacuum things. And you see that it'll last you 30 years in a jar with those air things, air, air um, oxi antioxidizers. So, and you can use it as a protein. Now, how would you use it? In a soup, in a, in a smoothie, any way you like. It's a protein. Cut. Put it in jello if you like. That's another way to do it. Now, what are we going to do with this? Same thing. You would spray it, dry it, powder it. But you have to remember, this lesson is not going to be used to make chocolate or other things and keep things soft, all right? So they're not so hard when you're breaking into them. Or you can take them, and this is a little dry, and you can eat it, like that. <laughs> I was there, everyone's always asked me, is this stuff safe? Now, I gotta chew this stuff so I'm not trying to be rude. But there you have it, a complete protein that you can use for survival. And. Share the health. Make it make it better. Don't forget, this is not the only way. Alright, to the next segment. To your health.